Yo, what is going on guys? It's Elite Shot here, and check out my frogs. Check them out guys, can you even see them? There's one froggy, and then there's another one in there, and this very dirty tank screen thing. It's the glass is disgusting, but uh, yeah, the point of this video is not about my frogs, but instead, dun 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 Check it out guys, control freaks, Sean such. There's my address for anyone who wants to rate me. <laughs> I finally received my control freaks. Believe it or not, I actually, um, I contacted the control freaks and I asked them if I can review the product. And what do you know, guys? They sent me a pair of control freaks for me to review. And I'm pretty happy because a lot of, a lot of players on YouTube, a lot of big players, they use the control freaks and they say they help their aim out a lot. So I'm really happy and I'm excited to use these and see if they help me out. But the thing is, I heard that they take some getting used to, so it might take me around a week to get used to the joysticks, and I'm only going to use one of them, and then I'll have the extra one for backup, because on your left analog stick, you do not need a control free, because why would you have to sprint more accurately? It's kind of stupid, so I'm only going to put one on the right analog stick, that's what most players do. So I never opened the package yet, you see it's not, it's not open, it's just a little, it's not an unboxing, it's more like a unwrapping, I guess, sort of. But here I'm going to open this and show you guys what they look like. And I plan to also get some playing time. I probably will combine a different commentary on top of this. I might do this, then I'll play with them for a little bit and say how they feel. All in one video so you guys know how they are and uh, what I think about them. So here we go. Let's let's open these up. I might have to set this down for a second. I'll set it down so you guys uh, can see. Maybe. I'm not sure if you can even see me. But I'm going to try to open these. Hopefully, I'm sorry guys if it's blurry. But I'm trying my best to set this up. I can see that I'm gonna open this up and see what we got. I believe they sent me the Control Freak Elite. Was it the Elite? I'm not really sure. I gotta see what they what they gave me here. Oh, look at this! Got some stuff. Got a little little card in here. What's this say? Oh, I ripped it. My bad. It says Sean, with compliments from your friends at Control Freak. Enjoy, enjoy your new freaks. KF team. You guys can see that. Hopefully, I kind of ripped it. My bad, but. It's kind of cool how they put your name on there, and uh, they told me to enjoy them, so hopefully they're pretty cool. And it's also pretty awesome that they send these out for free. I did not have to pay for these, and uh, as long as I did a review about them, so I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I bought them or this and that. I'm telling you the truth and how I got them. So I'm pretty happy with what's in here. Check it out. A control freak sticker. It's pretty sick. It says on the back, to install, carefully press down until product snaps on the controller's analog stick. And it says to remove, carefully peel products off the controller's analog stick. I can't read apparently. Uh, maybe you guys can see that for yourself. It says all, it says all there right there. And then obviously it says control freaks on the front. And then it's also a little scan the code. Huh. There's a little code that you would scan get to the website. But that's pretty cool. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the FPS Freak Ultras. Woohoo. And um, control freaks that make different analog control freaks for different games. This, These are for FPS games. They have a few different FPS control freaks. They have Ultras, Elites. Uh, they have the Originals. I'm not sure of all the names, but there's a few different FPS ones. They also have some for racing games where they're designed differently, which will help you when you're racing games. They have some for arcade games, some sport games ones. So these are for the F these are for our first person shooters, and uh, yeah, I mean they're pretty basic. I'm sure you guys have seen most of these on YouTube and what how they act and how they look and what they feel. Maybe not what they feel like because you didn't touch them on screen, right? But um, there they are. I'm gonna open these up. If I can open them, that'd be cool. I always have problems opening packages. I don't know why. Wow, that was simple, very easy to do. Because I have problems always. Here they are. These can oh made in USA. But they're patent pending, so cool. And it says also says approved for tournament play. This is in the back there, all that information. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm very sorry if you cannot see it that well, or if it's blurry or not focused correctly. But uh you can see right there the FPS Freak Ultras. There they are. And you know what guys? I'll be right back in two seconds. I gotta go grab my uh, controller. Be right back in a second. <laughs> Here's a controller. Here's a just my black basic controller. Actually, my first controller, it broke. My analogs were getting so worn out because in Call of Duty, 
you always push, you know, you always move this to sprint, you know, push it down. And since I pushed it sound pushed it down so much, my uh, sprinting button broke. So the thing was jammed down. Now I can't sprint in Call of Duty with my other controller. So I ended up buying a new controller. And like I said, guys, I'm only going to use one of these. And I'm going to put it on the right analog stick because I don't need a better aiming while sprinting. It's kind of stupid. So now I'll have two whenever this breaks. And I hear they last a long time, so... You don't have to worry about that. And these have three prongs. They come out of this package pretty easy. They're, it's pretty grippy. It feels, it definitely feels more grippy than the original Xbox controller analogs. So that's a plus. Oh, just the top here. This part right here is grip, and then this is just plastic. It doesn't feel too. It's, I mean, it's very, very light. It's super light, just like a little freaking dice, dice sort of thing. That's probably the weight of it. Even lighter, probably. But. The top is very grippy and it feels pretty nice. It feels easier and more grippy than these for sure. And here I'll try to attach it like it said. It said, I don't think directions are so necessary, but I believe it said in the back of here. It said, carefully press down until product snaps on the controller's analog stick. All right, I'm going to carefully, hope you guys can see this, maybe. Carefully press down. How funny would it be if I broke it my first try? Carefully. Oh, I wasn't too bad. Yeah, is that it? My controller's turning on here. You can see the, the difference, guys. Hopefully, again, you can see this. If, I'm, if you can't see it, I'm very sorry. But there's the difference. You see the height comparison. You know what? I'll take the camera so you guys can probably see a little bit better. But there's the height comparison. It's pretty much doubled the height. And they say since it's doubled the height, you have more leverage, which means you can aim more accurately and uh, kill your enemies with greater ease and or with better ease Does that makes sense i'm not sure but it made sense to me and uh there you see guys it's pretty much doubled there's no control freak control freak and it feels it's kind of awkward holding one hand but it feels definitely it's definitely a lot taller let me try to use my this is this is a fail i mean like i said guys in the beginning of the video i'm gonna get some playing time on this and i'm, I'm sorry this video is very long but I'll try cutting some out if, if possible. But yeah, guys, I'll see you in part two, possibly, of where I got some playing time on this and how I think it works in game. But yeah, guys, it's Alicia here, aka Sean. I hope you enjoyed this little unwrapping, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.